Propranolol, beta blocker. What is it? What does it do? So beta blockers are medications that are classically used as blood pressure medications. Beta blockers may either be cardioselective or non-cardioselective. By that, I mean they may either affect only the heart or the entire body. Propranolol is specifically used for performance anxiety. It can certainly help with more of the physiological symptoms, the physical symptoms, the muscle tension, the discomfort that people talk about. And sometimes it's used as an as-needed medication when people are about to be in a situation perhaps that they need to perform well. The beta receptor is the receptor on the heart where adrenaline binds to cause it to pump harder and faster. It's implicated in that nervous breathing, trembling, sweating, muscle tension. So beta blockers are fantastic for performance anxiety specifically because they can help relieve this tension, these physical symptoms while maintaining clarity of thought. They don't have the risk of sedation that a medication like Xanax or Ativan or Clonazepam have, for instance. What's important for everybody that's on beta blockers or the providers out there that are prescribing beta blockers, one thing you want to watch out for is evaluating or screening for a patient that has a history of asthma, especially if they have to any sort of asthma medication or require uh, an emergency inhaler. Non-selective beta blockers can exacerbate asthma. We mentioned how they can impact the receptors on the lungs that cause anxious breathing. So definitely turn to the cardioselective beta blockers and not propranolol in a patient that has performance anxiety that wants a beta blocker. You really do not want to risk an asthma exacerbation. And I think that's an important to note. So a beta blocker causes what's called bronchoconstriction. What do I mean by that? That decreases your ability to engage in appropriate air exchange at the level of the lung. So many asthma medications are dilators, bronchodilators that do the opposite effect. So certainly screening for asthma in a lot of patients that have asthma will have anxiety disorders. A lot of patients who have difficulty with breathing will feel very anxious, whether it's clinically excessive or clinically distressing or not. But that's an important point and something to exclude. And one of the cardioselective beta blockers, meaning the beta blocker is only working on the heart. Yeah, it doesn't have the same robust effect as the propranolol because it's not helping with the anxious breathing, it helps with that harder and faster heart rate, is atenolol. That is one example. 